Well, this is my first testing of this twin flywheel engine. It's a lovely day, so I thought I'd do it outside. I've only got the two modules, three modules on, I haven't put a forward one on. This is just a test even. But you can see I've got a few bits and pieces done and a few more bits to my lathe and the cupboard there. And the, the coal bunker is in there. So it should be all right. I haven't fitted a uh, cylinder drain cocks yet, so I'll probably have to rock it backwards or forwards uh, to get rid of any water and uh, to warm the cylinders up. Uh, I've got a few things to do, but that's why I haven't put the actual forge module, the fourth module on. But I'll just wait now for the steam pressure to rise. Different audience this time. Uh, my fish, they've woken up after their winter sleep in their pond. So they're having a good watch at what I'm doing. Oh, well, she's so excited to life. Well, the shape is going. Well, the layer is going. I like that there's a bit of the bottom that I've added, like a, a, a feed, a thread, threaded feed. And the cupboard looks quite decent. That's there she is. Going. We'll take a bit of running in, but there you go. I like the steam of running them outside because it's sunny but it's quite cold day. I just wait a very little steam pressure now. I'll fill back up a bit before I try to start this other one as well. Oh, there's the big engine away. My favourite engine, that. I think it's got a lovely movement in it. And it takes very little pressure. So we'll try them both. In a minute. That so one get warmed up first. Uh, I've got the drive shaft up in the line shaft in but I haven't bought the forge down because I wanted to see how this would run the twin fiber run run on steam first. Oh it's a lovely day. Oh there it is we're both seeing going. So far it's all up. I'm very pleased with that. Ah, there's surprising little pressure there. Little boiler's doing fine. Oh, there she goes. Everything's working on that, and this is working as she always does beautifully. Okay, this one might be going a little bit fast for the moment, but it's all a good trial. Oh, that one is going 
is about the right speed for the shape of the rail and things. So I'm quite pleased with it. That goes lovely slow. So oh, all I need to do now is put them um, to the drain cocks in, make life a little easier. And she runs nice. Loads of steam. Ah. So I need to put that pipe there into some sort of condenser or thing. Uh, you have to apologize for oil all over the place, but I've over lubricated because it is really is uh, first steam gun. And I'm very pleased with that. Oh, God, with this is really... <laughs> this bit of wood work for that. But it's still my favourite. It's that motion that just hypnotises me. It's beautiful. That scotch crank motion and so on. It's something else. Even the noise. Oh well. Enough for one day. get organized and steam it with the forge and everything connected next. That's all this more gas bottles too, that was nearly out. I keep saying that. One day I'll order them. Alright, thanks everybody. Like I said, I'll get them fresh gas bottle, that's getting a bit low now judging by the fire, but it's enough to keep the engines going, and that is for me. It's a running in yet. It can do this just in places. And it's quite nice. And I think my boiler has turned out nice. So I'm a happy bunny. And perhaps one day I can afford a decent camera. But steam engines are my thing. I'm afraid not videos of photography. Yeah, there she goes. As long as she runs the smoother she is. Perhaps one day I can afford a decent camera. But steam engines are my thing. I'm afraid not videos of photography. Yeah, there she goes. As long as she runs the smoother she is. But she eventually gets uh, 
How good news, the kettle's disappeared, so there must be a coffee in the office. Which is always good news. I run on coffee. But it's been a good day. Very pleased with my ending. So oh, I thought I'd better just show on full speed so people can know what they can do. So when I thought I'd just add this to show what the whole diorama will look like when it's finished. It's difficult to get a decent camera angle here. This is rather trapped up. But I hope it gives an idea.